Welcome to the virtual comparison microscope CCID test number one or the cartridge case identification test number one. What we're doing in this is we're comparing cartridge casings from standards, which you can see over here, as well as unknown cartridge case sources. So perhaps these were found at the crime scene and we have some standards, some suspect weapons we're trying to compare them to. So the point of this tutorial is to give you a quick rundown of what all the buttons do and where to do everything. So you can see right now I have two cartridge casings being displayed in my microscope, but they're out of focus. So on either side, left side or right side of the microscope, you can find the focus adjustments, which you can click and drag, or for the left side, you can also use the buttons Z and C to move it using your keyboard if you prefer that. On the right side, there's another focus knob as well, but it's for the right side one. And you can, again, same thing, use your mouse to click and drag, or if you wanna use keyboard shortcuts, you'll use the slash button or the asterisk button. All right, the other knobs you're gonna to need to know is rotate. So you can see right here, there's a rotating knob for the left cartridge case. Now, you can use the slider or you can use your keyboard, letters Q and letters E will rotate them as well. On the right side, we have the same thing, a rotating knob, so you can rotate it to the orientation you want. Uh, and for this one, you're gonna use either the home button or the page up button to rotate it if you didn't wanna use the slider here. There's also a little joystick to move it around. So you can click and drag that, or if you wanted to use the keyboard shortcuts for this joystick, it's WASD, just like they were arrows, but it's WASD on your keyboard. And on the right side, same joystick, but you can use the arrow buttons if you prefer to use the buttons. There's also a lock button, which when you press it, it locks them together. So when you move one, you also move the other. This is gonna be helpful when you think you have a match and you wanna check. So you can either click it or you can press on the keyboard L and that will lock it. There's also the magnifications along the side here. We got 10 times, 20 times, 30 times, and 40 times. You can click on those or if you prefer, you can use the plus and minus buttons on your keyboard to change the focus. There's the clear all button. If you wanna just wipe everything clear and start over, you can clear that. So. I'm gonna show you what I would do. Now, I already ahead of time figured out that it, these two belong together. So again, I'm going to focus my cartridge case and I'm gonna focus the other one. So now I see, all right, hey, I got some lines going on, but I wanna rotate them. So I'm gonna to have to rotate them so that they line up with the way that I think they are in both windows. So now I'm gonna to try to slide them so that each part that I think corresponds to the other side kind of lines up and now hey I think that's lined up maybe I'm want to increase my magnification so that I can get a closer look and now I'm just trying to line up I see these striations on the cartridge case I'm trying to get them to line up so that they're in the same spot and then I can click the lock button and now when I move them I can see if they line up with the other one. They're moving together and I can see that, hey, those striations line up. I didn't perfectly uh, rotate it, so maybe I wanna unlock it and I wanna rotate it a little bit. Uh, so yeah, so once you have a match, there's this little key, you click on that and it's saying standard three equals unknown one. And now I do that for the rest of them. Put on, Put that on there, it matches. I don't really know these, I'm just running through them. That's a match. That's a match. And you're gonna do that for all of these things. And if you get it perfectly right, then you get 100% and you get a nice little certificate that you're not gonna see in this video because I did not do this. Get final results, you click on that, and then it shows you, hey, I only got a 12%. Turns out that that number one was the only one I got. So you can try again or you can exit the program. So I hope you found that helpful. All right, goodbye. Okay,